There is an important difference between sales and marketing, and this is something many people confuse, even many organizations confuse. So first, let's understand marketing. Marketing is all about the awareness. It's about generating enough interest and, and understanding that people know what you're trying to sell. The sales part is the actual cash. How much have people paid for what you want? The direct sale. Have they paid for your product or service? So the difference is the conversion. If you're going to market to 100 people, only about 20 of them are actually going to make a sale at the end of the day. So you need to have different kinds of budgets and different kinds of channels of how you get this to be done. Marketing is often done through simple things like social media, TV, radio, billboards, adverts, something that will reach as many people as possible. It's about how many people see, how many eyeballs get onto your brand, onto your promotion. It's about how many likes, how many follows, how many people scroll through and see, how many people watch your video. That's the marketing part. You're trying to build awareness. This is why companies have big events or activations or they sponsor things because they want you to get used to seeing their logo, their company, their staff, their product, their message. So you know this company means this event or this product or this service. It's not about you buying what they're selling, it's about you knowing what they have. Then the sales part is where you actually need to make the money. But you can't make a sale to someone who doesn't know what you're selling. So the salesperson's job is to see how much awareness they have and then take them, convert them from someone who knows what we do to someone who is a customer of ours. Your customers are only the people who have actually spent money for what you are selling. It's very easy to say we have a great idea, we have a great service, we have a great product. How many people have paid for it? How many clients do you actually have, customers, that have paid, that have said, I will part my, with my money for your product or service, that have agreed with you that what you're giving has value, a set value that is at the price that you gave, and they're willing to sacrifice? Because every customer is giving you their money that they could have spent on something else. So they are choosing what you're giving them. And that is how you can call them a customer. That's a sale that you've made. So it's important that you have a very big marketing channel so as many people as possible can know about what you're selling. And then it's important to have effective sales where if you've marketed to 100 people, make sure you get those 20 that you've budgeted to get. Not that you only got four because you're not effective at selling. So you need to be effective at marketing to get the attention and to get the awareness and people to understand what this is. You don't want them to see your logo and they don't know. Is that a company that sells cars? It's a company that sells milk. Mm -hmm. It's just the blue logo. You need the awareness from the marketing. And then you need the sales. Why should they choose your milk over the other milk? Why should they choose your car over the other car? How is the service? What is the brand? What is it associated with? What are they going to get from this? How long is it going to last? What is the kind of quality? That is now in the sales, which is where you need to give more detail and you need to make sure you remove the obstacles in their mind. Mm, but it's expensive. Let me tell you why it's not expensive. The competitors are this, this, and this price. This is what you're going to get. This is how long it's going to last. You need to show the value to the customer. Make sure that they buy in so that they are happy 